We're just going to show some uh, hip implants. This, this is a Birmingham hip resurfacing, standard cobalt chromium, um, commonly used and uh, never been in a patient before, brand new. And I just have a, a piece of uh, regular old sandpaper that uh, anyone might have around their home. And we're just going to do a little abrasion testing of the implant. So it's perfectly unused. Pull it up a little bit more. Never blemished implant. So I'm just going to rub it on there a little. It's normal finger pressure. See what happens. Okay, and then you can see the pretty impressive scratch. And I'm going to move on now to a, a very commonly used Delta ceramic femoral head. Up a little higher. Goes in use every day, right here in the hospital. So someone's getting one right now, I'm sure. Same thing, I'll put a little sandpaper on it. Go to a new edge of the sandpaper. Couldn't make a blemish on it. Back to another resurfacing implant. This is a ceramic hip resurfacing. It's got a detachable stem. Right out of the wrapping, never been used before. Sand paper on it. Yeah, no, no, no mark. Then I'm gonna use a, a couple of examples of this. This is uh, oxinium. It's a knee implant. There's a scratch it gets. And we have it in the ball form. Here's a femoral head oxidium implant. Again, sandpaper on it. You can hear it. Again, a very profound scratch that you get from just standard pressure sandpaper. Here's a uh, gold, titanium nitrite coated resurfacing implant. Sandpaper on it. You can hear what, from the audio, I get, maybe I get a fresh corner of the sandpaper that's really abrasive. Couldn't really do any, anything in the way of a mark. Here's a, uh, this is a bipolar femoral head. I'm going to do both parts of that. So I'm going to put on the inside, on the 28 inner bearing, wasn't able to put a mark on it, and then the outer bearing, get a fresh part of the sandpaper again. Still couldn't put a mark on it. This is an old Alumina bearing, not in much common use anymore. And um, not much of a mark on, on that. This is polyethylene. It's part of a dual mobility hip. The ceramic inner bearing. This is v vitamin E polyethylene. Yeah, a little bit of a mark. How much? Polyethylene has improved a lot over the years. The socket. An all metal socket. This one has uh, got very elaborate texture on the outside. It'll be a little harder to see. I'll put some You can see it really marks it up on the socket too. Striker, standard hip, cobalt chrome head.
Yeah, there's the mark. That's tabular liner. 